I have to clarify the reason for my deconstruction, and that is the Bible. It's not the church, it's not the congregation, it's not the followers of Christ. It is the Bible. That is the reason I left my faith. Yes, I grew up in a strict household, a religious household. Yes, I was part of a fundamentalist um, denomination, um, but later on kind of went a little bit more lukewarm, but still stuck to a lot of fundamentalist um, and logical, biblical uh, denominations um, because my family and myself wanted to be in a church that you know followed the Bible and was not weirdly like lukewarm about things that are important especially when it comes to the Bible because if you believe in the Bible as being the premise of your faith and your Bible is where you get your facts then you should be believing in the Bible and you should be living by the Bible so you should be studying the Bible. And so we didn't really go to churches that weren't really preaching that stuff. Um, I've seen that a lot in my comments lately, like people saying things that are not biblical. Then what's your argument? If you're gonna argue with me about why I left my faith, you should probably know your Bible. Also, I mentioned all the things that I did in my faith to give you a premise for how involved I was. I should have clarified that those experiences that I had that were similar to like um, other religious, uh, people's experiences from other religions um, those were in connection with like my prayer and uh, the feeling that I had um, the connection with God and all those experiences um, I felt like he talked to me all the time I felt like there was a lot of things that happened um, and I do still believe in like a spiritual realm um, that, I, that I can kind of get into more so that's kind of why I leaned agnostic um, like spiritually agnostic but it's kind of hard to define myself so it's kind of one of those gray areas uh, for me because I don't have facts to prove it um, but I've had experiences so yeah I do believe in a spiritual realm on some type of afterlife I think I'm not I'm still kind of iffy on that um, but I've had experiences spiritually so but that doesn't mean I believe in God it doesn't mean I believe in the Abrahamic God and it definitely doesn't mean I believe in Jesus. Um, I just kind of want to clarify that, but I did have those experiences and they are very similar to so many other religions, people in other religions who have the same experiences. I mean like dreams the same. And I think a lot of dreams that people think are like really meaningful to them, I'm not trying to say that they're not meaningful if they are something that you hold close to your heart, I respect that. But I do think a lot of the dreams that we have are fear-based. Um, when we're afraid of things, it's like a psychological thing. Or if, if you've read something in the Bible and later on, it's just like when you watch a scary movie and then you have nightmares or um, you watch a movie and then you dream it or you see someone in public and then you dream about them. Um, those kind of things can have, you know, impact on your dreams and your mental state. So I think some things that we think are signs are actually just things that happen normally. Um, but there are some things like spiritual feelings and stuff um, that, you know, a lot of other religions have the same of. And so I can't say that that was just God because I know people who are like in Islam. I know people who are Hindu. I know a lot of people who are different denominations that kind of, you know, don't agree with each other or whatever that have the same um, experiences and dreams and everything or the same feeling that they're being talked to. Um, I also know a lot of non-religious people who have similar things. So, and they're all kind of like based on their beliefs. They're not like the same um, God speaking to them. It's like they're all personalized. So for other people and what they believe. So that's just another thing. Um, but I mentioned all the things I did um, in my faith because it was something that I really connected with and I really wanted to do more in my faith because of it because I felt so connected so when I say my experience I'm talking about my Christian and you know relationship with Jesus experience so when everyone keeps saying you did not know Jesus you never had a real relationship with him <sighs> whatever like I know a lot of people think that I know that's such a view that I grew up on and I knew it was coming but you know it's just like I have my own experience I know what I believed I know what I felt I know all those things that happened to me and I was really into it and I left because because it's not true 
and I get that people believe in it and I'm not trying to disrespect you if you do but for me in my life I left and I really left the Christian faith because of what the Bible said not what the church was saying not what the, what the church was doing but because of what the Bible said and the contradictions the immorality of the Bible and things that just truly are not real or factual and have been disproven or at least are not able to be proven and people can come up in the comments I, I know I know what you're gonna say I know I already know the arguments and even though I know those arguments I still have more proof or more evidence leaning on my belief to not listen to your argument or to not think that your argument is enough to dissuade me I already know the arguments you see I've been doing this process I have been researching I have been praying I have been in this process for nine years this isn't something that I'm new to I know the arguments I still watch debates on you know religion and biblical scriptures and passages and stuff I still read the Bible to know what I'm talking about so no I'm not being like oh I'm not listening to your opinion on that basis of this or that I'm just being blind no I've read your argument I've heard the argument and I've researched it and I have more proof or more evidence to not believe your argument is valid enough to dissuade my opinion like how can I believe in a faith that gets all its information and all its truth from the Bible when the Bible is flawed like that unravels my whole belief system like that is you know shattering and that's what put me into a lukewarm Christianity for a while until I couldn't, you know, stay in the cognitive dissonance and I had to do research, figure it out, and come to the realization, and a really painful realization, might I add, that this is not what I believe anymore. And I have morality, I have morals, I have an amazing life, and honestly, I'm so much more at peace than I ever was. I live my life to be good and kind and a good... Uh, parent, partner, human being. I live my life to spread love and understanding to others without the fear of being damned. So my morality is not religiously based, but it is human based. And I'm not using fear or a God to do good. I just do good. So all of you saying that I'm a sinner and a person who is prideful, this is like the most, like, how am I being prideful? I'm not being like, oh, I am better in this way. If anyone is doing that, it's the people who are in my YouTube comments right now.